The state is now requiring fire survivors to re-register with FEMA or the Red Cross in order to stay in temporary housing. Tonight's the deadline, but the state says that won't be strictly enforced. Several thousand have already signed up. Arlene Kawano tells us how many are left. About 600 people could lose their temporary housing soon. The state says they need to register to avoid that. 52 days after the deadly wildfire, a transition period for those living in hotels. They will now have to show proof of residency at the Family Assistance Center in the lobby of the Hyatt Regency Ka'anapali. The safe harbor period that we've been talking about, that is the period during which you can be in a hotel without having to prove your eligibility for the program. In order for the state to be reimbursed for the cost of these hotels, Red Cross to be reimbursed, we have to be able to prove the eligibility of the people in the hotels. Those getting assistance will either use FEMA or the Red Cross, depending on their status. They are a Hawaii resident, they were living in Lahaina, they lost their home, their home's uninhabitable. They signed up for FEMA, they're qualified, they stay in, okay? Undocumented people or those under COFA will go through the Red Cross. None of that is going to be in any way threatening to you or your status at all, but we will be able to house you. Residents do need to show proof they were living in Lahaina and cannot return to their homes. Utility bills, deeds, anything along those like, that, that is going to establish you as being a resident of one of the impacted areas. The state says families will not be removed, but everyone must register in order to continue to receive services, including long-term housing and assistance through grants. The Red Cross says they will still process registrations through the weekend, even if the Friday 10 p.m. deadline has passed. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. All right.